Here, so you can do it. Okay, you got the thumbs up. Yes. Hello, everybody. We're back in Susan's kitchen with the awesome Holly Bridgman and my bestie in the whole world. Oh. <laughs> and Jess? Do you have wine? So, so, you don't want the way. stems. So, break them off first. Just break the heads off. You don't it. want them. You don't want the stems. So, what we're making right now is scotch eggs. And this one I just had to make, especially for Michael Foster, mm. who. Yeah, I know, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> and it went, mmm. <laughs> As in, that tastes good. <laughs> but yeah, totally Michael's just, taste. yeah. Uh -huh. Michael is just a really, really nice guy. So I um, I've got healthy. Shelly here helping to make the scotch eggs. Uh, I'm going to be di mincing, you said, honey? Mince the onion? Helen, mince the mince. Mince. Mince, mince, mince. So I'm mincing onion. I'm feeling boiled eggs. Shelly is uh, doing parsley. She's chopping parsley. I'm making it over my head. And I'm going to be doing my <laughs> Junior Child's imitation because I'm a blonde. <laughs> Joey Childs once said, if the lamb falls on the floor, <clears throat> if the lamb falls on the floor and no one sees it happen, just pick it up and wash it off and keep picking it. <laughs> That's right. There are no witnesses. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Keep going. I couldn't do that, though. I'm too much of a germaphobe. Did you guys see Julia and Julia? No, yes, I didn't. That's that like good. Julia and Julia or whatever. Yeah. Oh my god, it was yes. really Fantastic. good. I loved it. Sweet. What did they get to play Julia Child? Wasn't it Glenn Close? Or? Yes. Yeah? Was it? Yeah. yeah. If it wasn't, it's someone who looks like her. And yeah. Julie was Amy. What's her name? Amy Adams? Yeah, wasn't it? Something like that. It's been years. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay, so speaking of actors, let me tell you. Someone suggested that Susan and I make haggis this weekend. And oh. I said, there is and no she way. said, there's no way she's eating haggis unless it's off of Chris Hemsworth's <laughs> ass. ass. <laughs> Naked ass, folks. Naked ass. So I he might have a smile on his face too. I took that as a dare and started a social media campaign to get Chris Hemsworth, Hemsworth to come here and cook with us. But I never said anything about anyone's abs. And I think that when Susan retweeted it and said, I'm going to eat haggis off his abs, <laughs> that's what scared him away. Exactly. So yes. all my friends who keep asking me if Chris Helmsworth is going to be here this weekend, Susan scared him away. I don't. Why? Why did I scare him away? I'm a perfectly innocent grandma. Shut up. I'm a perfectly innocent grandmother. I have four great. Yeah, I can't even believe that. Yeah. Okay. It's so, who you are as a person. <laughs> So I have, and really, I'm so glad he's not here because I would hate to try and have to explain that to my husband. <laughs> well, there would be no Abby eating if, if Yeah, there would have been no Abby eating. It would have been nice and easy. And he wasn't home. I, 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 I mean, I can go yeah, up here. Yeah, you're single. I am totally That's true. single. Emily's like, single. She could do it. A thousand percent single. Exactly. So <laughs> Emily could have, I could have lived vicariously through Emily. There you go. <laughs> and Hallie, Hall, Hallie, Hallie, Hooli, Hooli, Holly, Holly, Shelly is being <laughs> unordinarily quiet. <laughs> Does the camera scare you? No. Yeah. Her husband hearing what she wants to say about Chris Hemsworth scares her. <laughs> uh, we're all happily married. Yes, you are. And uh, <clears throat> I would have just cooked for him. That's all I'm That will. Yeah. Can we get David Boreanaz here? Because that's really the love of my life. <laughs> you know, Bones just aired its last episode. He's out of work. Maybe he's lonely. I don't know. Angel. Yeah. I Did love Angel. Cry? Did you cry? No, no, no. no I, I, don't, I don't have Fox. Oh, I didn't know if you watched it on like Hulu or something. No, no. So I'm waiting for it to come on Netflix next year. So what scotch eggs are, which I didn't know, I had to look them up because Susan requested, the re requested that I make it and I had no idea. It's basically... A hard boiled egg surrounded by sausage, rolled in breadcrumbs, deep fried. So, Whoa. and then it we're making a, a white wine sauce to go with them. Oh, I drank all that. There's I'm more. Just <laughs> <laughs> it just and screams myocardial infarction. That's yes. all I'm saying. So I have Which not is had what? Wine. <laughs> I can still say myocardial infarction. Uh, so I don't eat pork. I follow biblical diet. So I eat only clean meat. So what we have is turkey sausage that we're going to use to make these scotch eggs. So all of you who are over yonder, beyond the 
Atlantic Ocean who are now having like mild heart attacks over the fact that we're not using pork sausage, we're using turkey. And I'm fine with that because I'm not a huge fan of pork. I need a bowl. I don't yeah, I there's or this, wait, one? this one. Yeah, this, this one. Perfect. Yeah, that one's good. The only I time I eat pork, pork is at a restaurant where there's no other option for bacon. <laughs> <laughs> we eat beef bacon. <gasps> I have not had is, that. I've only had turkey. Yes, pork bacon is from. It's called the, the plate of the pig. Well, okay. they do it off of the beef plate. Same part of the animal. Really? It has fat content. It makes the grease that I can make gravy with. Well, why so. didn't you bring any? <laughs> I should have brought some. I would have made converts. I gave it to a friend of mine one time, and, sh and she came home, or came over the next day, and she's like, I think you might have converted us to beef bacon. <laughs> It's way better. I, just, I guess tummy ache with pork. I yeah. know, so I just don't like it. Um, Kevin doesn't like turkey bacon. Turkey bacon is really gross. But I will have to try the beef bacon. Now, where would I buy beef bacon? Can I get, get it at Kroger. At Kroger? Okay. Oh. So I'm putting onion and parsley, maybe, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> a little slow. A little slow. It's Shelly. She's a little slow. Into the sausage. Yeah, zooms off. But she's the best friend a girl can have. <laughs> And uh, is it a rough chop or a fine chop? It just chopped. Chop it up. Do you need a bigger knife? Nope. I'm not <laughs> safe with a bigger knife. You're both, <laughs> you both are lefties, aren't you? I'm lefty. Okay. That's why I get away. So I consider these two women my dearest, dearest friends, especially okay. Shelly. I tell Shelly everything. Um, there's Shelly, certain things like I can't tell Holly because you know, she might burst into flames. But <laughs> I just kid her because I've had wine. Um, <laughs> but we're so opposite of each other. So when, we were, when we were in Kentucky, Tennessee, I kept looking at Shelly going, how can we be friends? How can we be friends? We have nothing in common. <laughs> but we had fun. We had a we good had time a in Tennessee. We had a blast. I can't wait to do it again. Oh, so I'm going to show people this cookbook, Hallie, when you're done with it. Okay. This is a cookbook that my best friend in the whole wide world got <laughs> while she was in Colorado Springs. And she texted me and said, I got this wonderful cookbook I need a cup, for you. So let's see how much. She never gave it to me. She kept the cookbook. <laughs> um, so. Okay. I don't need that much. I can leave that alone. We'll use that in a minute. Okay. Don't do anything more with this. I need it chopped. So do you want me to do it? Do you mind if I take over? No, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to take over. <laughs> You're not offended, right? Nope. Okay, good. I'm going to do this real quick. So this is parsley that took two trips to two different stores to find because... <laughs> look at that skill. I know, look at that. <laughs> I, I would be lucky in this. I'd, be, so I'd have cut an artery by now. <laughs> Well, that's why I'm controlling the blade with my other hand. Yes. You're doing a fine job. Okay. I can do it that way, but I'm afraid to. It's kind of like you could. You could. I, 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 could. I, I could. I could do it. I can yeah. do that, but I'm really afraid. So. All right. So I'm going to mix this up with the uh, sausage, and then. And I'm just watching because that's what best friends do. <laughs> So, Hallie, tell my readers what kind of books you like to, that, that you write. I write Christian romances. Does that not surprise you that we're, like, really good friends? <laughs> <laughs> and Christian World War II suspense. Mm -hmm. and, Which I love, those. And uh, cookbooks. <laughs> like Fifty Shades of Gravy, A Christian Gets Saucy. You wrote that? Yes. Yes. Oh, my God! <laughs> and... <laughs> The Walking Bread, The Bread Will Rise. No See, way! I have, I have I've heard of these! I know, I've got them all downstairs in storage. I and, haven't brought them out yet. And Iron, Iron, Skillet, Iron Skillet, Skillet Man, The Stark uh, Truth About Pepper and Pot. Uh, 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 and coming next month is Hallie Crock Potter, oh, <laughs> The Chamber of Sacred Ingredients. Oh! Oh my god! I want an autographed copy of that one. So oh my Hallie god. is really, Wait. I've read her stuff. Um, especially the Sapphire. Yes, yeah, the Jewel series, yes. Oh, my stars. People, if you have never read Hallie Bridgman, you are missing out. Um, she does write Christian romance, but it's gritty. It's a, with real-world scenarios. It's not all sugar-coated, I guess is what I want to say. And I just, she is a phenomenal author. She really is. Thank you. And... I think Shelly likes Hallie's books better than she likes mine. <laughs> <laughs> I like them both equally. I am 
I okay. feel stunned that <laughs> she wrote The Walking Bread. I wrote The Walking Bread. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Like, I've heard of those. <laughs> and I've heard of Hallie through you, but I didn't, it's not you because never. of you that I heard of those. Honey, have some more wine and you might be able to put more puzzle pieces together. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We are having a really good time today. So now you're doing some flour. Okay, I'm just doing flour. What we're going to do is, and then I need a, I'm going to use one of these. I hope these are okay. Yes. Okay, so then breadcrumbs. All right, and then egg. I need two eggs. Did I get two out? Or do, oh, you used them. I might have used them. Okay. Let me get over here. So what we're going to do is take a handful of, uh, this is onion, parsley, I need those in here, and I need them beaten. Onion, parsley, Mother thyme, <laughs> and we're going to make like, see the, like that. Looks like the eggs. Okay. Looks like the shells. So oh. it's sausage surrounding the egg. And then we're going to roll it in the flour. I'm going to get these. And dip it in out. the egg. Is that a hard boiled egg? It's a hard boiled egg. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Now, um, now, I've never made these before, so I'm completely making this we, up. We didn't make the meat pies before. And look at this plate. Give me that plate. Um, okay, look at this. I ate them all. We had a dozen meat pies. They are all gone. I probably ate more. They were delicious. They were really good. Even my six-year-old grandson liked them. We just and my had husband, them. who is my picky eater. Yes, yeah. but Hallie's in the house. So. Exactly, Hallie's in the house. So if I want him to try stuff, new stuff, i got to have Hallie come. There you go. That works for me. I thought I was have I beaten it eater. up? You it think you're a, the picky it eater? It is a crying yet. It is a crying yet. Okay, that's good. All right, so I have it. I'm gonna roll it in the flour like this, and then can you put some salt and pepper in there? And then <laughs> you want me to? But I have turkey sausage in my hand, so it. I'm just being it's sick. not safe for me to touch. What if she doesn't put the right amount? She'll just have to. Oh, upside down. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. So Susie needs to like not have any more wine. And then I'm going to put some parsley in that. Oh, hold on. Let me chop up some parsley real quick. I'm going to get in here again. I'm just going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take out a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get in here again. I'm just going to take out a bunch of them. I'm going to get in here again. I'm going to take out a bunch of them. I'm going to get in here again. I'm going to take out a bunch of them. I'm going to get in here again. I'm going to take out a bunch of them. I'm going to get in here again. I'm going to take out a bunch of them. I'm going to get in here again. I'm going to take out a bunch of them. I'm going to get in here again. I'm going to take out a bunch of them. I'm going to get in here again. There you go. All right, that's good. Okay, okay. Right now, here, just do this. See, like that, like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so now <laughs> I'm gonna roll it in the egg, and then roll it in the breadcrumbs, <laughs> and then we're gonna stick that in the oil. Do you want a pan to transport from here to there? That's a great idea. See, every now and then I come up with one. <laughs> Let me recreate my system. Get them in order, and then go over there. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And then take it out, unless you don't want to touch the raw turkey. I don't and then, care about touching raw turkey. I do that. See, she has to roll that. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know I'm going to screw this up like I did the meat pies. You didn't screw up anything with the meat pies. I'm just thinking this. I didn't wear the right sleeves for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think of that often when I'm cooking. <laughs> Well, I was telling Hallie about my induction cooktop. One of the things, I love many things about my induction cooktop, but one of the things I like is that um, I don't have to worry about getting my, my sleeves getting in the flame. And yes, I've done that. Um, it's easy to clean. So, yeah. It's so you're not setting thing. yourself on fire. And I'm not right. setting but myself you still on fire. Like like those win. sleeves on the turkey. Don't be nasty, but... <laughs> I have more shoes. Well, I'm the one who wore white, so I don't know which one of us had the biggest <laughs> error today. At least you can roll your sleeves up. Now, does it say, say, does it recommend how many uh, we should put in the pan at once? I'm thinking well, three. Well, I would only do two or three. Two or three? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands. I will be the first taste tester. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make the sauce. Oh, yes, it's going to yes. have a white wine sauce. 
Ooh, I, I can deal with that. That's another reason I love Hallie. And Susan's cabin went this morning and bought a really beautiful wine for our white wine sauce. Yes, and he got Glen Fittich and the other one that neither one of us can pronounce. Glen Morangy. I need Greg. I need my Greg here to tell me how to pronounce it. Glen Morangy. Or I bet you Chris Helmsworth could have pronounced it. Uh, Christy Adams grunted and says, Sally can cook for me anytime. Christy needs to come over and I'll cook for Let her. Let us see the final product after they're cooked. We will, I promise, Lori. Oh, Michael Foster says, oh my dear diet, Scottish, Scottish eggs are maze balls. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Michael Foster. Tell him to come over. He's, he's in California. Do I get to meet him in October? Do I get to meet him in Yes, you get, but he's engaged. Okay, and that's fine. That's, that's very sweet. That's fine. And I'm you just get to meet dreaming. Sean. Hampton? Yes, I have. Uh, Debbie did pictures of him. Yes, she? she did. Yeah. Yes, she did. And then I'm going to take these. Do you want a second pan? While I'm frying? Frying. Well. No, I'll reach to you. It's how about right a there. Okay. Here. Do you need a plate? Yes. You want a plate? Yes, for the when they're done. Now, Hallie's probably going to make fun of me. Probably. Hello, Hallie. <laughs> My hands have egg wash. You know what I need to do? I need to test this. I'm just going to take a little bit of breadcrumbs and let test this. Yep. Ooh, we're going to turn that on the cooking network, didn't you? Yes, I did. Be quiet. <laughs> now, is the oil supposed to cover them or do we turn them? No, honey? you're good. You can turn them. Ooh. Probably in a, in a perfect world, we would have a deep fryer going, but. I don't have one of those. I hope they're good. I, mean, I don't know anything about them. I researched them to make them good. Eggs are actually making them good. Yeah. I eat them every single day. Probably my largest source of <laughs> So, is everybody having fun today? Raise your hand if you're having fun. I am! Did you get to turn the flame down here? There is no flame on them. You know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, do that. I am not the cook that Hallie Bridgman is. By any stretch of the imagination. Sorry. If anyone wants to hear a story about Susan's um, cooking, nobody wants to hear. Nobody wants to hear. I'm just gonna say one word, Mom. What? Lasagna. Lasagna soup, lasagna soup, and lasagna rock. There is no intern. I'm still young. I'm still learning. <laughs> Be quiet, Emily. <laughs> Did it say how long to cook these? Or you just want to make them more brown? Okay. So, probably a little bit longer for these, even though they appear golden brown because the oil was so fine. Yeah. And I bet Michael Foster is just going acres. So, Hallie, out of all the books you've written, do you have one that's your favorite? Yes. I have always loved An Aria for Me, which is the second book in my Song of Suspense series, simply because um, my hero is a military guy, and my husband and dad are both military. Mm -hmm. And so it was one that was just very personal to me mm -hmm. until I finished my last fiction book and it became my favorite, A Harmony for Steve. Okay, what's that one about? That one is about a Christian rock singer who uh, falls in love with an acid rock Satanist. <laughs> I told y'all our books are gritty and they're true to life. Drug addict, alcoholic. But I'm going to assume that he helps her through all that. He, she helps him through. Oh, she helps him through. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he gets clean and saved. And oh, good. Then good. no one is happy that they're together. No one on his not. side, no one on her side, and certainly not his uh, the satanic cult that follows him. So. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure. I don't even know how to research. It was very dark 
and in the middle of writing it, I had to stop writing it and write the World War II series just to take a break. Yeah. Because okay. it was just too dark. It was too much. And I had people really worried that I was writing a book like that. Are you serious? Yeah. Aww. I got like a cross necklace in the mail that had been blessed. And Aww. Something that people pray for. Yeah. <laughs> we have people like that in our lives. All right, so I'm going to give you a plate with a... Right, actually, you know what? A sheet pan... Leave it there for a second. Just leave it. Okay, a sheet pan with some paper. Oh, you have it. Yeah. Never mind, you're good. But would a sheet pan probably work better? Just room-wise. Room. Room. Right, so these are done here. And now we need to get ready to make the sauce that that's going to be served okay. with. Thank you. Some of that stuff came in the dishwasher, but some of it we're going to need for the next recipe. It's all the sturdy over here. Pardon? Yeah, all the, that sturdy. Yes, I do. Look at those Scott things. Oh, Michael Foster, I bet you wish you were here right now. I think those look good, Hallie. Oh. So I was telling everybody earlier that a few years ago I was in Palm Springs for a uh, for Indie's Tribe. And we had Scott Bates at this party and I didn't get to try any because Michael Foster ate them all. That's okay. I like Michael. He's a good guy. So, and what is, and this is a white wine sauce, a wine sauce that we dip. Yeah, I'm going to make homemade mayonnaise. Homemade mayonnaise. And uh, mix it with some uh, herbs and stuff and some uh, other ingredients. Wine and lemon juice. Okay. So. just want the yolk. And we're going to save the white for a cake we're making. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. no, 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 you're fine. I'm just... No, for the mousse. For the mousse. Oh. All right, so... Dried mustard. Sorry. What do you need, honey? Mm -hmm. Three teaspoon. Oh, I've got some over here. I need a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I wanted to see because I've never seen anybody make homemade mayonnaise before. In our house, all of my mayonnaise is homemade. Yes. So Do you need a hand mixer? Vinegar and a hand mixer. Do you need apple cider or white? Uh, I can do either one. And I know okay. where this is, so I'm going to need Okay. And I pulled the hand mixer out for you all. Thank you. If you need to plug it in here. And then hand. two tablespoons of vinegar. Yes. And two cups. A bit of oil. I'm using canola. And again, we are going to post all the recipes on my website, my blog, Hallie's blog, everywhere. We'll have all these wonderful recipes for you. Do not, you don't need the shelves, right? No. 
And I actually won't be able to use that. I've got some yolk in there. Oh, okay. So pitch it. All right. So this is going to be loud, and I apologize. See, can I tell you that's a Tim and Tim and Taylor mixer? And I'm going to gradually put the oil into the egg yolk. And I don't need to tell you which way to do the pepper. No, nope, I'm good. <laughs> I can figure out which way to do it. <laughs> Back All to it now. Eggs out of this world. And it's just very slow. If you go too fast, it won't coagulate. Okay. All you're doing is the protein and the egg are bonding with the oil. You can do this with a whisk. You don't need to use a mixer. I'm lazy. So I use a mixer. Now there are people who are concerned about using raw eggs. You can pasteurize the eggs. I can I'll put the link up for you and bring them up to a temperature that would make them, that would kill any bacteria in them. But you don't need to worry about the yolk of an egg as much as the white. Or the shell, really. It's the shell that has the diseases. And you can see, I don't know if you can see. Can you see how it's doing? It's just getting I looked away and it's too much, so hopefully I didn't just ruin this. Just one? Just one. Okay, and do you need a zester? 
No, I need a juicer if you have one, otherwise I can do it by hand. I have to do it by hand, all right? And lemon. And you like to And I'm using my like hand yeah. to catch the seeds. I like See the that. seeds? That smells really good. Oh, I know, right? Sorry, again, my... <laughs> All right, lemon, and now we're going to mix all that together. Do you have a whisk? Where can we go? Here. Oh, I love the smell of fresh lemons. Oh, you just gave me flowers. Oh, how sweet. Oh, that cake smells so good. Oh, the cake. So for all of, the, all of you who are watching, feel free to go ahead and share this live video with all your friends. Because we'd really like to have a lot of people watching us today. Yeah, it's public. Yes, it's oh, okay. public. Okay. <laughs> Here is our cake coming out. Carmina says, I love, oh, well, I love how the Americans pronounce Worcestershire sauce. I'm sure it's something Isn't like it Worcester? Worcestershire? Worcestershire? I don't know. Worcestershire. Worcestershire? Can I use your waffle? Here's our sauce for the stuffed eggs. Oh, Alberta Smith says the camera person is doing an awesome job. So, thanks to Michael. Do you have a cooling rack for the cake? Yes, down here in the bottom. Okay. When do I get my eggs? Any minute. <laughs> <laughs> I bet uh, Emerald Agassi doesn't have to have doesn't have people standing there going, "Hurry up, baby!" With your mouth. <laughs> See the ones we had in Palm Springs? They use okay. small eggs. So I'm gonna oh, just like, like I don't know. I'm gonna cut into this. Yes. Got the, some sauce on there. Yeah. Oops, I lost my egg. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> I told you it was hot. Okay. I still kind of want to eat it though. <laughs> okay. What is, what is eating? Oh, you shut it off. Oh my okay. god. Is that good? Very hot, but it's amazing. It's awesome! Yay. Yay! Another successful dish. Yes. Could you guys? Are you seriously capable of making something I don't like, though? Really? What don't you like? Rosemary. Rosemary. That's well, see, that's what I wanted to make rosemary crusted lamb, but your mom didn't like lamb, and I'm glad because you don't like rosemary, so you don't like my lamb. No. no. Yeah, but you haven't had my lamb. Because the lamb we've had, you lambs are chew, cute, chew, though. Chew, chew, that's true. That's another reason to make him well. Like, honestly, <laughs> other than eggs, I could probably go vegan if I wanted to. In the UK, they eat them cold. Oh, they do. Oh, oh. 
Well, Wait, these eggs? Apparently, according to Carmina Edwards, we're supposed to eat them cold. Well, that's well, we don't want to wait long enough for them it. to get cold. Is that not video? <laughs> yeah, it's in there. there. I just say it falls out. <laughs> I'm bad. I know I am. Yeah. So these are scotch eggs. I am I am happy. I didn't even know scotch eggs were a thing, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't either. I had to research it to make it. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> That's yummy. It's it's not what I expected. It really that is. It's really good. Mmm. I can taste the time. But okay, it's not so that's whatever it is. I can taste everything. The cayenne pepper has a nice kick. I really don't taste the cayenne. But maybe the oh, cayenne is in here. Mm. It's in the mayonnaise. It's in okay. Mayonnaise. Okay. Mm. Is that good? Okay? Is that good? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Emily, if you get any botulism, I'm not. You can't see You are them. liable. I will see. You're you. going to use the same sauce? <laughs> yes. I don't do that. I don't. I'm one of those that don't do our eggs. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so if we want to stop live video feed for yeah. now. So next, we're going to make, you know what, I can go ahead and make the caramel sauce for the cake. Okay. Or do you want to stop and Yeah, we're going to stop back. and come back in about five or ten minutes, and Holly's going to make the caramel sauce for the cake. Yep. Bye, everybody. Bye.